What's going on guys, and uh, this is a new playthrough on this channel. Now the key is, I've already played Mario Golf on this channel. Well, I decided to make this into a full playthrough and I had to turn my game audio down, but um... Yeah, this is a game I played a fuck ton, because like um... There are some games in the S4 library that were fun multiplayer, like Smash or Mario Kart 64 and all that. And like um... However, one game I've always had like full relaxation with is Mario Golf, and this is actually the uh, one of the games that actually got me into the real sport itself. Like, uh, yes, I actually do play golf in real life, and it's actually based on the same. So I do, even though this isn't really like the best of the Mario Golf games, I still have a lot of nostalgia for it. Plus, I do find this intro kind of hilarious. And fun fact, this is actually the 10th uh, hole on the first course. I know that just from playing the game itself. Now, uh, when it comes to this game, uh, I'm playing this on uh, N64 doing EverDrive. I have 100% this on my N64 cartridge. And now, uh, when it comes to this game, like, like most N64 games, though probably more so than most N64 games, I would totally recommend playing this on original hardware because, uh... I will explain why it's generally not good to play this game on a re-release. I like this voice clip here. Anyway, so what? this is Mario Golf for the Nintendo 64 and uh, the game was made in 1999. <laughs> Jeez, um, this game's actually as old as I am, fun fact, but uh... We're going to uh, start this game. Now, uh, when you start a multiplayer game, this is a brand new save file, but uh, there's a continue in case uh, you want to save your progress. But like, uh, if you choose a multiplayer game, it starts with most of the characters. It gives you a general idea on like uh, who the characters are in this game. However, if you start with a one player game, you only get four characters. So like, uh, the rest of these characters in these two player mode are ones we're going to have to unlock in one player mode. Now, if we start with one player, we have, we start the ca the first char the first set of characters are Plum, Peach, Baby Mario, and Charlie. They don't really typically have the best distances, and Plum hit Plum and Peach both hit it straight. Baby Mario has a draw, and Charlie has a fade. I'm gonna try to showcase all of these characters, and uh, I think for the first character we're gonna use is Plum. Fun fact: if you hit the C buttons, you can actually change their color palettes. We're just gonna use the normal color palettes. Now, uh, there's tournament mode where you complete for the best place, collect birdie badges and trophies. Birdie badges are going to be utilized later. And there's get character, play another character. If you win, you can use that character. There's ring shot we're going to do later. Shoot through the ring, set your scale on ring shots. There's speed golf, which is a uh, practice mode. It's basically a speed running of Mario Golf. There's a short play if you want to play a casual mini play. Mini golf was the mode I played in the one-off video uh, a while back, and uh, this is training. This is basically to practice the game's mechanics. And we're gonna do tournament now. Uh, there's only one. There's only one um, course. It's Toad Highlands, the Toad Tournament. We need 50 points to unlock the next course. Now, uh, this right here is Toad Tournament. Let's get the game started. Um, this is hole one, a par four, and uh, I'm going to try to make a golf game amusing, but uh, one tip I have with Mario Golf 64 is that a lot of this game requires calculation. What do I mean by that? There's like a, there's going to be, if you see that 12 yards down, that means like it's going to be like 12 yards below like um, what you hit. So like uh, with this club, so with this driver, it's 208 yards. So this would be like 196 yards. And the bottom right is 98 or 100%. Those are like your estimated like distance it will land. And like um, I will explain more of this later. But like uh, this looks like it's going to be like maybe 195 yards. Plus you have to pay attention to the wind. It's going 8 miles per hour north. Uh, so this look um, this looks like um, it's going to go like 195 yards. Now uh, the bar on the left is for power and the bar on the right is for accuracy. You want to get up in like if you get both bars, you have perfect shot. Now, um, this right here, um, this is going to be two yards up, and it's 94, 98. So it looks like we're going to use a lower club. Looks like we're going to use a five iron for this. Because I, I think the uh, four iron would overshoot it. And we actually got it close to the hole. 
Now, you want to birdie as many holes as possible, and I'll explain why. Like, when we birdie here, this is what is called a birdie badge, and 100% requires getting all the birdie badges in all the holes. You don't, we're definitely not going to get all the holes and uh, birdie badges in all the holes in one go, but, like, um... I will utilize more later the remaining birdie badges, and I'll utilize a trick to getting them. Now, hole two is a par three, 161 yards, and uh, this looks like, now this is a lot of wind. Um, this looks like it's going 15 miles per hour northeast, so it looks like, and this is going downhill, so it looks like we're gonna use a, uh, we're gonna use a, and this looks like it's going 11 yards down, so we're gonna use the three iron. Except I didn't get good accuracy. And it looks like it's gonna go close to the hole. Except I overshot it a little bit, but it's not up too bad of a putt. Putting in this game can be a little bit of a pain in the ass because uh, you have to kind of actually play this game to kind of get used to it. And uh, yeah, we are we're we're in sixth place now. Uh, one thing I absolutely love about this game. One thing is uh, the kind of references to other games that they'll uh, include. In We're like, we already see Link. We already see Yukiki. We already see Sorry of Mockery of Time. We already see Dory from Mario 64. We see uh, Ken. We see uh, Daruni of Mockery of Time. What's Daruni? What's a gor fucking Goron playing golf? And we see uh, McCloud. This is obviously a reference to Fox McCloud, or it could be James McCloud. And we already see Fox. We see both Fox and McCloud. And we see Sheik from Ocarina of Time, which is technically Zelda. And we see Melon from Ocarina of Time, who's in last place. God, I just... Some of the hidden things in this game I just absolutely love. Now, one thing is, if you press the B button, you can use a power shot. However, you get six power shots. It doesn't count as one of your power shots if you get a nice shot. But uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna use a power shot. He said I didn't get a perfect shot. So it looks like it was our normal distance. So, uh, this looks like it's, it's, the wind's kind of screwing us over. It's got a 19 yards down. So, uh, okay, one yard up. So it's going to be a 129 yards. So it looks like it's going to be, I'm it looking like this is going to be a four iron. We're actually playing really well. Nice and we already have three birdie badges. Why just get all the birdie badges on all the holes? I don't think that's gonna happen. We're gonna have to come back here later and get up, get some of the main birdie badges. Anyways, this is a par five. Now, I would definitely recommend using one of your power shots on the par fives. And this also introduced, this is also a rain mechanic. Rain will drastically dip reduce like um your basic your your distance is what i mean so yeah we're definitely going to use a power shot except we didn't get a perfect shot we haven't gotten a single perfect shot yet we only hit it 200 yards with the power with a power shot and we're not going to make the green in two so it looks like we're going to just we got our first perfect shot. I say we didn't get a perfect shot, and, and then we get a perfect shot. So yeah, that, that was like, we're looking at 30 yards down with the rain. So like, uh, this is going to go 8 yards up, so it's 126, plus we're in rain conditions. So, I think a 4 iron should be good. Except we overshot it. Now, uh, rain's also gonna drastically decrease your putt distance. And this is our first hole we miss a birdie on. Because we overshot the putt. But, uh, I'll take a par. So, like I said, a lot of Mario Golf 64 requires calculation. Toadstool Tour, they kind of make the, uh, what you have to hit easier. But this isn't Toadstool Tour we're playing, so uh, yeah, yeah. One way, one of the ways to get good at this game definitely requires like some math skills. 
And I, one thing I would also recommend about this game, if you can play on a CRT TV, I would definitely utilize it because one of the reasons I would recommend against playing this on a re-release is because this game absolutely can um, have a delay if you're playing on a re-release. I don't think, I think we might have undershot it. Yeah, we undershot it. I, for, I didn't realize it was like rainy, so yeah. This is gonna be so, so like, you wanna avoid the rough at all costs, because this is like, we're looking at 70 to 85%. So I think we're gonna hit it like this. Except we maybe overshot it. I think a full 30 feet might get it in the hole. Nice. At least we got a par. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, we're in fourth place, and uh, even though don't pan, don't necessarily panic if like, these guys are like if like fly guys like he far ahead, they're eventually gonna start screwing up uh, when we get to the back nine. I think the first part's gonna be the front nine. The in the next part's gonna be the back nine. Yeah, we're looking at 17 yards down, but we're going downhill, which means it's gonna go, uh... So it looks more like... I'm gonna use a 5-iron, but not hit it all the way. I think we still overshot it. Maybe not... It's not too bad. And that's our fourth birdie badge. So basically, uh, we haven't birdied the hole four, hole five. We're gonna have to go back later and birdie those holes. Now this is eleven. The wind's gonna go eleven meters up, and uh, it's nine yards out. So I think we can fully utilize a normal shot. Anyway, so 161 yards. It looks like it's going uh, 90 to 94 percent. So I, I think a four wood should do it. Oh, you you want to avoid the bunker at all costs. So like like the deep rough, you want to get the uh. This is this is looking like it's gonna be 75 yards. So uh. 75%, not 70, 85 yards. You know what I mean. And it looks like we're not burning this hole. Nice par. <laughs> and look, so they're already screwing up. So we're already fourth in the ranking. So yeah, it's raining, but it's 15 wind up. So we're gonna use another power shot. I can't get a single good power shot. You get a special animation for it also. So yeah, if it's if the wind's about this amount up going upwards and it's like uh you know, and you use a power shot, it looks like it's just your normal distance. Yeah, it looks, this is looking like 99 four yards, so it looks like we're going to use a, uh, eight, it looks like an 8 iron should do it. Except I didn't hit it all, I didn't, I chose not to hit it all the way. Nice on. And that's not too bad of a putt. It looks like we can just hit it like this and it'll go in the hole. So we're already in second place, and this is the last hole doing this part. So, uh, yeah, 18 yards down. There's no wind, actually, so it looks like we'll just hit a normal shot. Nice shot. Maybe reaching the green in two might be too hard with the lack of distance, because Plum hits it straight, but she has a lack of distance. Uh, I think a three wood should be able to do it. Nice 
That's not too bad of a putt. So I wouldn't. I would prefer a better putt, but like. Uh, That's the entire front nine, so uh, I will see you guys next time. So uh, next time on Mario Golf for the N64, we are going to do the back nine. So I'll see you guys next time.